So here what do we have is the following. We have a battery over here. This is our battery and it is currently set at about 1.5 volts. So you can uh, set this as 2 volts, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 respectively. So this is your main power source. Now the positive terminal of the battery is connected with the positive terminal of the ammeter. The negative terminal of the battery is connected to say end 1 of the rheostat. Then the current is going to flow out of the rheostat from end 2 then again back into the connecting wires and now this is resistance number 1 and this is resistance number. So let me call there are two terminals A, B and then I would like to call these as A dash and B dash and then finally the current would leave back inside the negative terminal of the battery. So let us look at the direction of the current once again. So the electric current would come out from the positive terminal of the battery so like this then it would go inside the ammeter then from ammeter it will go like this and then it will come out of the ammeter through the black terminal and then into the black wire then understand this very well since this is the variable resistor the rheostat so the electric current is go directly into this rod and then it would go inside the jockey this is the jockey and then it would flow from very less number of turns and then it will come out like this then into the red wire now the electric current i is going to split up into two parts one let me call this as i1 and the other is going to go in this direction as i2 so the main current splits up into two parts i1 and i2 the i1 current goes up into an a dash and then from a dash to b dash and then again from b dash it will come back to point B and it is going to rejoin with the electric current I2. So both the currents are again going to join back into total current I. Again, it is going to flow back into the black wire and negative terminal of the battery. Now, suppose you slide this resistor, sorry, suppose you slide this jockey somewhere over here like this then the electric current would enter would enter through the rod then it will have to flow through larger number of turns and then it will have to go out of the wire so that means on sliding the jockey in this direction the overall circuit resistance is going to increase so you will see a fall in the reading of the ammeter correct now the role of the voltmeter so if you look at this uh, complete circuit you will understand that the voltmeter is always connected in parallel and the ammeter is always connected in series understand one more thing that the positive terminal of the voltmeter that is the red one is to be connected to that end of the resistor from which the current enters the resistor so the current is entering from this end this is a this is a dash resistance number two resistor number one so either you can connect the red end or the positive end of the voltmeter to end a or a dash and then the remaining the negative black end with end b or b dash like this correct now it will not make any difference if you connect the voltmeter here or if you connect the voltmeter here because since these two resistances are connected in parallel the current is going to split up but the potential difference is going to remain the same and you can very well check by yourself by clicking the link in in the description you will see a video in which the potential difference remains the same that is what was the experiment so here also the voltmeter reading here also the voltmeter reading remains the same now the electric current is i and that splits up into i1 and i2 so i2 goes in this direction again i1 is going to flow like this this is current i1 it is again going to rejoin with the current i2 at end b of resistance number one and finally it is going to leave 
through the black wire back into the negative terminal of the battery right so this is what is 